Welcome to day 21 of our angel adventure. This may be your first time tuning into this series, so maybe it's not day 21 for you, maybe it's day one, and that's perfectly fine. I've had a few people saying, I'm behind on the journey, you're not, friend, everything flows. We're here, we're working with angels, everything is on angel time, so everything is perfect in the now moment, so don't worry. If you're just tuning in, however, welcome. My name is Callista, angel healing founder, the creator of the Female Archangels book and Oracle deck, and very passionate uh, lover of the angels. I love expanding their knowledge and their teachings. And here we are today, introducing perhaps a new angel for you, Archea Clarity, divine feminine twin of Archangel Jophiel. Together, Jophiel and Clarity represent the angel of wisdom, illumination and beauty. And they come forward in this lovely, bright gold and yellow ray. And there's some interesting energy coming in. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite misty. Now, there's no incense or anything on in this room. And uh, really feeling Clarity just standing right here. And I know that she's going to be channeling a lot in this video so as ever, if you have anything else going on right now, if you're doing, if you're multitasking, I invite you just to tune into this video. It's not going to be for long, just tune in so you can be super present to not only what is being shared on a physical level, but also what's here vibrationally, like this beautiful energy coming in so that you can feel clarity, you can open to her. She is all about illumination connecting with the angels perhaps in a brand new way. So let's get started. If you have the card, bring it in. If you don't, that's okay. Let's just bring our hands together in prayer. And just relax your breath. If this is the first time just to consciously take a wee breather, then slow it down even more. Breathing out the day so far, or the night before. Coming into a space of rest and relaxation as we invite forward Archea Clarity, our divine heavenly sister. Clarity, may you please come forward and fill us with your yellow and gold ray of illumination, beauty and wisdom. Inspire and expand our mental body. Bring us new ideas, inspiration. And if you feel like you are always on the go, if you're never taking time out, then we invite Clarity over this next while, while you're together with her, just to be open to ways that you can employ more rest and relaxation in your life, for this is the angel that nudges us to do just that. So taking a deep breath in as you invite Clarity in. She merges with you and open your eyes and I'm a big advocate of really merging with the angels not just inviting them here but really bringing them in so that we can really experience who these angels are beyond book learning and traditional passing on of knowledge really embodying them so you can feel them and experience clarity oh I say this probably with a lot of angels, but she's one of my favourites. I know a lot of the students of angel healing who have connected with Clarity over the last 15 years or so, while the modality has really grown and grown, often say that Clarity is one of their favourite angels because she instills such peace. She says here in her card, rest, reflect and recharge because she knows that when we employ ways to bring peace in our mind we bring peace in our life and she's the first to say put your feet up or meditate or 
bring in mindful practices where you are allowing yourself to receive because life doesn't have to be a series of exhales, like constant doing. There has to be moments of breathing in, of receptivity. And this is how I really feel like Clarity and her twin Archangel Jophiel as the angel of the sun. They our focus on this new age and spirituality is a, is a huge movement, is the divine feminine. The divine feminine within all is rising and expanding, but so too is the sacred masculine. And so this angel really teaches us about balance. And if we are, for example, constantly in the doing, like constantly in the masculine energy, in the masculine mode, we need only to dip into the other our other aspect, which is the feminine, to bring about balance. Like the yin yang, yin yang symbol has got both. The yang has got a little bit of yin and the yin has got a little bit of the yang. We need only to dip into the other's medicine to bring about balance. Equally, if we are constantly always relax, relaxing or, or um, not doing anything, then we need to dip into the masculine to bring about balance. So whenever Archaea Clarity is around, she really goes to the core of where there is imbalances so that you are equally honouring the feminine and the masculine within you and creating more balance so that you're receiving divine guidance, you're letting it in, there's space for you to receive and be receptive. And also there is space. There is space in your world. There is space in your being to take what has been given to you and then actualize it and bring it into form and bring it into action, really using the masculine energy. In her depiction, let's go to the book. So the full colored form is now in the second edition of the Female Archangels. So let's go into her imagery here. Isn't she beautiful? She wears just a very plain and simple gown because she's all about clarity. She's all about just simplicity, make, breaking things down, making it as simple and as clear as possible. Um, she has a lot going on above her crown. She has this yellow golden lotus, which connects her to source. Then there's these electric blue threads of light that connect from that center that bridge to her twin Jophiel and when I was channeling the imagery she also asked for an eagle to be above her crown because eagles and really any birds of prey in general are intimately linked with Jophiel so if you've saw an eagle today or lately or saw a bird of prey, a hawk, we get lots of hawks around here, know it's a sign that Archaea Clarity is with you and she's inspiring you, perhaps with ways that you can be more resting, more in your rest, more in your rest and relaxation, or equally it might be to take action, to take that inspired idea that keeps coming to you and actually do something with it. Believe in yourself, know that you can, because Clarity is also the angel of optimism, the angel of, she's especially profound if you have a negative bias going on in your mental body. Like I definitely have a negative bias. Like I go to the negative a lot. I think that's just my, my um, conditioned self because we're all conditioned. We are not born this way. Um, but we were, I was certainly brought up to always, um, not trust everything that I see and always just be a little bit more cynical, be a little bit more, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she su really does support this. She supports us to just come out of the negative bias, come out of the the negative self-talk and make it a little bit more sunny or make it a little bit more positive and optimistic. And so if that is the medicine that you're needing right now, then Archaea Clarity is definitely your angel, friends. So let's speak a little bit more about her. In her book, there is so much. Again, this is a really practical, rich chapter. It goes into empowering the sacred masculine. Like, what does that actually mean? And how we can bring that into our physical life. 
how to devote to embrace our divinity more, trust our instincts, keep lit and appreciation. One of my favorite practices of all time that the unicorns gave me, uh, but we've adapted it with Archaea Clarity with her words is magic nine for sleep divine, which is like the antidote for pessimism, the antidote for negative bias. It's a way that we can make appreciation this daily ritual to do just before we fall asleep so that we're unloading the weight of the world from our shoulders and going into our slumber with a state of optimism and a state of appreciation and it's wonderful to do so do check that out I've talked about magic now in a few videos maybe you know that already how to brighten your self-talk how to notice reoccurring thoughts and let's talk about this just for a moment so clarity reminds us that in any given moment, in any passage and stage of our life, there'll be five thoughts, five judgments, five hang-ups that are constantly looping around our head. And we don't have to feel imprisoned by that. We can stop stop the cycle of their rumination by employing practices such as mindfulness. And there are so many different mindfulness practice, practices. You can ask Arcadia Clarity to inspire you with a practice that suits you. You can look in the book, you can Google on YouTube, there's loads. But definitely even just noticing when one of those thoughts comes in is a way that you can start to stop that cycle of rumination. And so, yeah, she's a big angel of noticing your thoughts. There's a mindfulness meditation in here, friends. And also, I just want to talk a little bit about her crystal allies too. So one of the first crystal allies, I actually have a, quite a big piece of it behind, but is citrine, is, is citrine, which you can pick up pretty much anywhere but if we are we were to be a little bit more refined in that it's actually natural citrine that she has a a greater link with having natural citrine is the stone of optimism it's fantastic to carry if you feel that your thoughts do tend to be more negative more um draining um if you feel that you have negative people around you especially you know, you might have some friends or you might see it on social media, people talking about conspiracy theories and political agendas and cosmic agendas and societal and even familial and your family agendas. And uh, well, every, every opinion is, is true, you know, every opinion is valid. No one is right or wrong. Everybody has space to communicate and share their truth. That's absolutely fine. But if things if things don't vibe with you, and if you're an empath, natural citrine would be fantastic for you to have, just so you don't feel like you're being bogged down with other people's opinions and viewpoints and judgments. Yeah, it's a wonderful crystal to have with you. Another one that carries the vibration of Archaea Clarity is Solaris Andara. Solaris Andara. I actually found this in the in the dirt <laughs> like walking home one day I saw the shiny thing and I was like oh what is that and then I wash it and I realize it's Nandara not a piece of glass as some people would think but it's actually an Andara crystal and I believe these cosmic crystals um I've heard so many people that collect Andara saying they come to you either they come up through the earth and they're gifts from your guides or or you are given them and all the andaras I've had are like that bar one that I actually bought for someone else so it is in the spirit of gifting and it said no no no, it needs to be here it needs to be we need to, we have work to do so say yes if you are I know some of you have said oh my god the andaras you're sharing I'm totally in love you can source suppliers of andaras but so much out there friends is just colored glass it's not the real andaras which i really do feel are coming from our intergalactic friends and guides and they're literally just dropped in front of us <laughs> when um when at one particular crystal is for us like this beauty was i couldn't believe it so yeah solaris andara and the other one is yellow fenakite which i don't have very special even just a tiny bit of yellow fenakite 
blows your crown chakra. Um, and clarity really is the angel for your crown, for opening your crown and illuminating. And all the channels out there, if you feel like your crown chakra is always vast and open, it's too open, I hear you, I feel you. Clarity, just ask clarity to close your crown chakra, especially at night time. You don't want to be going into dream time with a huge big crown chakra open, all bright and shiny, because you're going to pick up and be a beacon to everything that's in the vicinity. And we need to just remember that spirit and spirit groups do not sleep. So they see you, they see you as the shiny beacon. And if you want that, if you want to be, you know, have interactions all the time, even in your dream time, then that's up to you. But if if you are a channel and there is a lot that tries to psychically engage you, then you might just want to close your crown chakra at night time. Okay, plan allies are ash, fig flower and lemon flower. And I want to leave you with her affirmation. And also just check out the Female Archangels guidebook because there's so much more, including the inner temple meditation, which is so good. It's like a respite within yourself where you go in and you create this beautiful inner temple and you sit by a fire with clarity and you just rest and you just receive. And know, friends, that clarity might inspire you with something that isn't esoteric, that's nothing to do with your path or life, just dropping ideas and inspiration in. This morning when I was cooking breakfast, I've, I like cooking baked eggs and there's a way that I normally follow, but today she's like, do this, do this, do this. And it was just, it tasted so good. It was really out there. Um, the ingredients were used, I would never put them together, but they worked. So you know, angel cooking. Just let yourself be inspired when you work with this beautiful angel. Okay, her affirmation, her blessing. Let's do it with hands on her heart. And let's say this aloud three times with conviction. Resting is my new doing. Resting is my new doing. Resting is my new doing and so it is thank you doesn't that feel good and for those of you who said please put captions you can activate the captions on these videos or you can also look at the transcript of each of the videos as well friends so you have all this information um, but enjoy your time with clarity let me know how you get on and remember, if you want to go deeper with the angels and become an angel healing practitioner, the first level one course is happening in a few weeks, May 18th, 2024. And if you're watching this video after that time, just head over to my website and you'll see the next level one course. So much love. See you in the next video.